Hey, how's it going? This is Paul Molnar at Molnar Makeup Moments. I'm here to show you how we make transfers. Well, what are transfers? Well, let me show you and you'll learn how to make them. Okay? It's going to be fun. You and I. Let's do it. Alright. Come on. First thing we do is we design. Number two, we sculpt. Number three, we mold. Number four, we pour. And number five, we apply. So children, stay with me. Desi design! Step one, you design. You design a piece that you and the director both agree on. Now it's really important that you don't make a piece thinking, oh, this is what they're looking for. Make sure you get approval and whoever's in charge says, yes, let's do that, or they go, no, that's crap. Step two, we sculpt. What's the important thing to remember is when you sculpt is always have very thin, flat edges. Thinner, the better. When you make your edges, make them smooth. Super, super smooth. Now for step three. Now, step three is the molding. Molding is really important because we're taking our positive, which we made, and now we're gonna make it into a negative. And to do this, I use the silicone. Read the directions to the silicone, okay? Pour your silicone together. You measure it, of course, but you know what? You can read the directions, it's pretty simple. And then, what pops out is a silicone piece. Solid. Step four, we pour. Step four, pour, oh, oh, oh. Never mind. Step four, we pour. That's like a finger right there, it's weird. Now step four, after we put some mold release on our piece, we're going to apply the Bondo. Now what is Bondo? Well, it's not ice cream, so don't eat it, number one. Number two, it's basically, this is what the transfers are made out of. Prosade, or prosade, whatever you want to call it, prosthetic adhesive, or professional adhesive, I call it prosade, is the main ingredient with a mixture of Cabasil. Now Cabasil and prosade make the Bondo. Now you don't have to buy Cabasil, because when you do use Cabasil, you should always wear a mask. It's really important, okay? Because it could get, it basically turns anything liquid into solid, and you breathe that in your lungs, you're not gonna be happy, okay? So, you can actually just buy Bondo at any store, makeup store, will have it. You go to Friends Beauty Supply, Cinema Secrets, Namie's, Alcone, and I even think uh, Manhattan Wardrobe has it. All these places have it. Probably your local Halloween store will have Bondo. So Bondo is your main ingredient. So you take the Bondo. Now I mix it with my own ingredients as well. You don't have to. A flocking or whatever you wish to make it a better, smoother uh, Bondo. So I take the piece and I push it on like this. It's like butter. They're like, I'm buttering bread. Mmm, look at the butter. Bread or my bread. So good. Mmm, like mustard butter in my bread. Okay, now, here's the tricky part. Now remember this, folks. And this is acetate. This is your key ingredient, one of your key ingredients to making the transfer itself. Goes on to the piece, but wait! Don't do it just yet. You want to make sure you're on the right side. And this is the big, big important lesson that you learn anything always want to make sure that you apply it on the right side. And the right side is, you do a little S here, the solid side is always up and the beaded side is the side that goes down. The beaded side means it has, see how it, the paper does not, the ink does not stick? Because that's the side you want to apply the glue to. So it doesn't stick to it. If you apply it to the solid side, you're screwed and your transfer will be destroyed. And now we apply the acid safe, solid side up, solid side up, da -da 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 -da. and I'm going to push, la 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 la, da -da 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 -da. smooth, smooth. Let's go to the freezer. And now we put it into the freezer and we wait 20 minutes. Okay, everyone, now this is the second part of the pouring. Went to the freezer, it came out 20 minutes later, and here we go. We just peel it up, just like that, and there's your transfer. Boom! So, now for the final piece, the application. 
So after you have the piece, what do I do now? Well, now you take the transfer paper right here and you want to put a little prosade on here. As you can tell, there's some prosade on here that I applied. If there's some prosade, you apply it and then you want to stick it down. And here's the most important thing. Shiny side hits the prosthetic, flat side up. Shiny side down, flat side up. Shiny side down, flat side up. Okay, so shiny side with the prosade on it goes down and then it goes like this and boom, you have your transfer. They're ready to go. And next, we are going to learn how to apply it. And you'll see how simple it is. We did all the steps. You can do this. Things you'll need, 90% alcohol, prose, transfer, illustrator, cup, warm water, paper towels, and brushes. Okay, first we're gonna take the transfer paper and the acetate and slowly separate it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the edges of the transfer paper with 99% alcohol. Now you can also, uh, if you want, you can do this with the acetate instead of the transfer paper in the beginning, but I prefer to do it with the transfer paper because it, the transfer paper soaks it up. If you have a good sculpt, you don't have to worry about this too much. We have a pretty good sculpt, so we're pretty good. And now what we're gonna do is to clean the, alcohol, clean the actor with alcohol, 99%. Make sure there's no dirt or anything. Always keep take care of your actor, that is key. Then you wanna put some prosade where you put the alcohol. Now this is just to help it make it stick for those long shooting days. Now, you can put it on there, and you can put some warm water, warm water on the transfer itself. This will make it slide off, a little warm water, and whoop, there it goes. Now you're gonna blend it with 99% alcohol just to hit those edges. As you can see, it's pretty transparent. You can't see it at all, and that's great. That's what's so great about these transfers. You know, they, they go on easy, but they look amazing when they're on. Now, I make mine very thin. So uh, it's mostly about the painting that makes it pop. And uh, I love painting. I'm a body painter, a makeup artist, and painting is all I really do. Uh, when I'm painting here, I'm gonna add some washes and browns and reds. And I'm using the Illustrator uh, palette, alcohol-based makeup. It's activated, activated with uh, alcohol, 99% and I'm adding all these reds and stuff like that. And you gotta have fun when you do this. You gotta, you know, make a story out of it. I don't know. This guy, he he fell, he was escaping prison, he jumped the fence and he, he cut himself and uh, he's dying, you know? So, you know, get, get your head out of, this, out of the work and think of the story. You're like, let's see the pain. Let's see the pain this guy's in. Let's feel it, you know? It's a happy little cut. Let's, Let's see the, the, the injury. Oh, look, look, that's nice. A little reds in here, a little reds there. You, you actually can actually make it longer by just hitting a little more red, a little shadow. I like to blend the edges too. Blending the edges with a little bit of uh, irritation looks really nice. Now, I get a lot of my references from my family. You know, they're in the medical field, they're in law, and they're in the mob. So. Yeah, I get some great references. They tell me if it looks real or not, and uh, it's great. It's really, really nice to, to have that. And well, I like to add a little darks and shadows in there as well. You know, just, just where, where's the shadow coming from? You know, where's this darkness coming from inside? Oh, is this a bacteria? Is this an infection? How deep is this got? You know, is this poor guy? Is he gonna die? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's all right because you know what? It's all about the art. And it's you know, make it long, you know, make it any size you want. You figure out the story, you make it happen. You just have to really have fun with this. You know, have the cut bleed out more or make it dry. Whatever you want. You can add some powder to it, you can gut, some gore, you, you can whatever you like to do, add some slime to it. I like to add blood. And the blood is basically red food coloring and corn syrup. I'm using right now is street sleep blood. And it's it's really nice blood. It, it goes on dark and it's you know it's it looks pretty good. So what I used was the skin illustrator effects, the skin illustrator and the dark you know, illustrator. Hope you enjoyed it. Go try it. All right. So here it is. It's a transfer. Would you like pepperoni with that? We can put pepperoni on it. Really easy. Now you know how it's done. All those scars you see on actors and all those cuts, all those wounds, now you understand 
Walking Dead, from Dark Knight, all these crazy movies you've seen and TV shows. Pretty much, this is it. Pretty cool, right? Remember when you're done, you could add stuff to it, you could powder it so it doesn't stick. Sometimes you have to put some Vaseline in there to give it a little shine, or you can put some blood, or whatever you like. You can put some coffee grinds in there with some blood and give it all gooey and crap or whatever. Or there's a stuff called Ultra Slime, which I love. You put that in there, it's all slimy and ghostbustery, gooey and stuff. It's so much fun. Anyway, have fun, get out there, make yourself a transfer, and scare the crap out of your parents. Or your friends. <laughs>